south of Savannah, Georgia, often voted one of the prettiest cities in the states. It is also home of one of the most important ports on the East Coast. Um, I'm 52 years old and a quadriplegic. I fell from a house I was working on 17 years ago. And fortunately, the company I was working for had workers' comp, and it made life a whole, whole lot easier. There are other people that deserve financial help more than I do. I have enjoyed a very varied life. In my first life, I saw uh, I saw a lot of the world. In 1981, I rode my bicycle from Seattle to Northern New York, where I where I grew up. We lived about 30 minutes from the Canadian border in Plattsburgh, New York, on beautiful Lake Champlain. Six hours north of New York City. The Adirondack Mountains are not far away. There are 46 peaks over 4,000 feet in New York. I have climbed 45 of them. A helicopter ride to the summit of Kuchikraga Peak, the shortest of the 46, will hopefully ha happen before my life is over. I graduated in 1979 and and I didn't get far in college. They wanted, they wanted me to do homework. I started working in restaurants from the graveyard shift dishwasher on up. I enjoyed cooking. I enjoyed cooking finally finding a way to express myself artistically. Uh, because of my Swiss heritage, I was able to do a three-year Swiss cooking apprenticeship. I lived at my grandmother's house in Geneva, Switzerland while I studied and worked in a wide variety of restaurants, speaking French. My first real cooking job brought me to a four-star hotel in Kloster's, a ski resort in the Swiss German Alps. That was the royal family's skiing holiday choice. Prince Charles ate from a plate I helped to prepare once. Living in the middle of Europe, it was so easy to travel. I often visited family in Paris. I took two separate two separate bicycle tours of three weeks in southern France and northern Italy. That was the first of two times I visited Venice. I served in the Swiss Army, a militia type army for several years. I was a cook and soldier in the bicycle troops. It was the quickest way to move troops while making the least noise. During three weeks a year, we crisscrossed the Swiss countryside on our single speed model 1904 bicycles.
I returned to Plattsburgh in December of 1993. I had a cooking job lined up in my dear Adirondacks for the summer of 94. I took a little trip to visit friends in Savannah to pass some time. They were, they were building homes and I soon found myself swinging a hammer along with them. Construction had always been my second career. I decided to stay in Savannah and live the regular nine to five life. The night and weekend duties of kitchen work would be set aside for a while. On December 30th, 1995, I fell from that darn roof. My second life, my second life began right then. Fortunately, the small company I worked for did not allow its employees to work without being covered with workmen's compensation. I came back from Shepherd Hospital in Atlanta three months later, paralyzed, married, and a stepfather of two lovely teenage teenage daughters. Culture shock for sure. This second life has been as eye-opening as the first. My ex lives about an hour away. We have a good relationship. Ashley, my stepdaughter, lives five minutes away and comes over with her family a lot. I am Opa to her two beautiful girls, Audrey and Elena. They visit me often. I always enjoy these times. I have many friends here and via the internet. I slipped into a, to a dark hole during 2010 and 11. I ended up in, hosp in hospitals for, for two months in early 2011 because I was not taking care of myself. I came home to new caregivers that has really improved my life especially having Ryan working the 7, 8 to 3 p shift during the week. Other than taking good care of me, he activates my mind with our, with our, with our discussions. He helps me with never-ending projects around the house and also drives into the places, as the others also do. They have all helped steer me into a renewed love of life. But these places always end up back at my house. I was so fortunate to be able to travel so much in my first life. That took a 180 degree turn in this life, except for two trips to Plattsburgh years ago. That's about it. Um, recently I found out that my good friend, my good friend Dean is having his annual bar barbecue get down on Saturday, July 27th, which happens to be my birthday. That started the wheels turning. It's been since 2001 that I ventured up that way. It sure would be nice to visit again. I don't think my 82-year-old mother will ever come visit me here again. She's she's doing well, and I'd enjoy seeing her in the house I grew up in. And there are so many friends to to see and places to, to go. One short trip, we'll be driving up the road to the summit of Whiteface Mountain. From where I'd have I'll I'll have a a beautiful view of my dear, my dear Adirondacks. Here's where your assistance 
would be so appreciated. My fan, my financial, my financial situation just barely covers my needs here, much less a trip back home. With the help of my European and local family, I was sitting pretty for for a dozen years. Those funds have faded away. My insurance company covers me very well when it comes to needed equipment. The van they bought me two years ago is just aching to go for a ride. And and they also help with all with all of my medical necessities. But the $550 disability benefit checks I receive every two weeks are my only my only source of income now and my savings don't add up to much. One of my sisters recently helped me with her hard earned money to cover my mortgage for six months. I'm getting my guest room ready to rent. I will, will dish the dish next month and rely on the local TV stations and the internet for entertainment. I will so miss not being able to watch the daily coverage of the Tour de France this summer. The, the countrysides and towns bring back great memories. I have to come back. Losing my house would be would be disastrous. I finally got approval from my nursing agency to allow Ryan to bring me on this on the trip. Originally from Maine, Ryan went to to Bible College in the Adirondacks. He's 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 also looking forward to seeing that neck of the woods again. We'll be staying at my friend Sandy. Uh -huh. Sandy and Dean, Dean's, the the site of the birthday the birthday barbecue, so lodging is no problem. I've calculated that the gas there and back will cost about seven seven hundred dollars, and there will be many miles covered in northern New York State. Food and other expenses will, will also add up. I'd like to leave Savannah on the 20th of July and return by the 1st of August. Many small contributions should add up to cover my visit up north. I thank you for your time and thank you in advance. Please have a great day.